Hey guys, welcome back to another video from the Decision Desk HQ YouTube channel. My name is Ryan Guest, Elections Data Fellow here at DDHQ, and I'm here to bring you our third and final installment of early insights into the 2024 general election. Today's video will focus on the US House. But if you have not already watched the presidential and senate videos, you can go ahead and do that by clicking the links that will pop up in the top right hand corner. With that, let's get started with the US House. Now, the GOP's modest gains in the 2022 midterms left them with a five-seat majority in the U.S. House of Representatives, which current projections suggest might fall to Democrats next November. While the Republican Party does have a narrow lead as of today in RCP's tracker of generic congressional vote polls, generic ballot polling itself has limited predictive power more than a year out from Election Day. That said, as political polarization increases and split ticket voting decreases, U.S. House national popular vote results have recently tended to track closer and closer to the national presidential popular vote results. Former President Donald Trump, currently favored to win the Republican nomination, ran slightly behind congressional Republicans in both 2016 and 2020. And, as outlined in the presidential video, given that Trump also ran behind historical fundamentals in both of those elections, there is enough data to suggest that Trump could prove to be a weaker general election candidate than the quote-unquote generic Republicans who tend to run for U.S. House seats. House Democrats, on the other hand, will likely run slightly behind their presidential nominee nationally for the third presidential election cycle in a row. Moving on, the structural bias of the US House has shifted in different directions over the years. Throughout the 2010s, Republicans held a structural advantage, while Democrats claimed the advantage in 2020 and 2022 and are expected to again in 2024. Democrats should also enjoy slightly better US House maps in 2024 than in 2022. Even more concerning for Republicans, however, is that their coalition is becoming less efficient as they gain ground in minority-rich blue cities and lose ground in heavily white battleground areas. As a result, even though House Democrats will likely run slightly behind their presidential nominee, their favorable structural bias in the House, compared to the Republican bias of the Electoral College, still means that Democrats have a slightly greater chance of winning the US House than the presidency. The most important note from all of this, though, is that electoral outcomes for the presidency and the US House will be highly correlated in 2024. Securing the presidency significantly increases the likelihood of the same party winning the House. That brings us to our joint outcome analysis, or in other words, the most likely outcomes on the national level for the presidential House and Senate elections. As of today, the most likely outcome is that Democrats win the House and presidency, but lose the Senate. Democrats are slight favorites to win the US House and the presidency, according to both betting markets and the analysis outlined in Section 1, but are heavy underdogs in the Senate. This outcome in each chamber would lead to a split government. The next most likely outcome is that Republicans win a trifecta. If Republicans win the presidency, their probability of winning the U.S. Senate is effectively 100%, and their probability of winning the U.S. House, meanwhile, is also very high. That said, the third most likely outcome is that Democrats win a trifecta. That said, given the challenges that Democrats face in the Senate, Republicans are more likely to achieve a trifecta. Democrats must win comfortably in the U.S. House and Electoral College, and two Senate races in red states, Ohio, Montana, Texas, or Florida, to achieve a trifecta. 
That is all for this Decision Desk HQ video though. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click that like button down below if you did indeed like the video, and subscribe to the channel down below as well if you haven't already. Also, check out more content from our channel here, and we'll see you next time.